thought it might be nice to do uh, a bit more uh, metta. Uh, we start with the breath meditation as usual, just establishing that mindfulness. Preparing the mind, letting go of thoughts and establishing a little bit of stillness. some metta towards me today is very touching so my uh, my 10 year old friend yesterday he had a trip to the chocolate factory and uh, the Salango pewter factory and one more place I forgot anyway so he bought chocolate for me morning chocolate because as you know I gave up in the afternoon and he bought chocolate for my family and then he bought one pewter picture frame for my mum he gave to me to give my mum and I asked him or he told me this expensive Ajahn I said I said how much he said 220 ringgits and I said that's a, oh yeah that's quite a lot I said did your mum give you that money he said no it's my money he said so that's a lot of money for a 10 year old isn't it and I said how did you get that money he said he saved up his pocket money and he said don't worry I still got a lot left he said <laughs> I said really you're very good at saving for a 10 year old he said he's gonna put himself through university he said quite extraordinary focus for a 10 year old but isn't that beautiful to think to give me a gift to give my mum I was very touched <laughs> pewter picture frame When people have loving kindness, life is uh, life is more bearable, isn't it? <laughs> We're friendly to each other. So when you practice the metta, it's just offering this attitude of friendliness and kindness, and giving yourself a gift. And uh, once we know how to do it, it's a little bit strange at first because. Um, I suppose we're told from childhood to do nice things for other people and not to be selfish. And so we are oftentimes very good at, at uh, making gestures of kindness towards others, taking care of other people. And then with metta is uh, offering this kindness, generosity of heart, friendliness to oneself. And it's really important to understand that it's not selfish and that if uh, the more we have it in our own heart the more one has it for oneself actually then the more of this energy there is in the heart and then naturally we can share that with others more so it's like if you understand it as a, as a battery or as a, a transmitter obviously if there's a lot of energy loving energy in the heart held in one's own body and mind then uh, obviously there's more to spread outwards so when we do the uh, loving kindness meditation we just fill up fill up the heart, fill up the chest fill up the body, fill the mind bathe it in this kind of warm loving energy and then uh, once the heart feels really full you don't have to be stingy at all be as generous as one can be just understanding that that's actually the most efficient way to live a life with kindness is to start where you are and when we radiate loving kindness to all beings obviously we are one of those so we are one of all beings aren't we and the place that we radiate loving kindness from is necessarily from this one and it's also good to just understand that samatha uh, is a good foundation for developing insight. As we read the 11 benefits of loving-kindness meditation, Lord Buddha explains that people with loving-kindness 
are able to develop concentration easily. So loving kindness has many benefits. One is that it uh, helps to pacify hindrances and it helps to pacify certain kilesas, selfishness, competitiveness, jealousy, those kind of things become less. If one uh, irritation, anger, if one practices loving kindness a lot, experience much less of those things. So the mind becomes uh, more benevolent, practice metta a lot over a long time, forgive easily. So that means when we come to the meditation we won't have as many little grudges, little complaints about other people to have to work with. Just wish yourself well and wish these people well, so it's very valuable. The other thing about metta, of course, is the more that we really establish it for ourselves, then naturally we're going to take better care of our life. So we're going to take better care of ourselves and we're going to make better choices. But it's good, rather than start with just the intellectual stuff, I should do this, I shouldn't do that, I need to do more of this, I, I have to stop doing that. There's a certain, a certain validity to all of that, but it's better really to start at the heart of the matter. If you really care for yourself, then you will take care of your life. And if you really care for yourself, then you'll, you'll learn how to focus on what you need to focus on as a natural expression of that care. So as we practice loving kindness now, just really open the heart to oneself and really fill up that space, understanding that uh, there's always challenges in life and you're going to need to be your own friend and you're going to need this resource of kindness and uh, you're going to need it for those around you as well. So really taking the opportunity to uh, generate the metta citta. So with eyes closed and back straight, aware of the breath. And just acknowledging, I think it's really helpful when we practice metta, that we just don't miss the simple step, the first step, what I think is the first step in metta, is acknowledging that we have suffering in our lives and difficulty in our lives and challenges. So that's everyone, from the little child that was crying outside earlier to the Sultan. Everyone's got challenges. Everyone's got some suffering. So just acknowledging that and then recognizing, yeah, here is a being who, who uh, wants some loving kindness, who could benefit from a loving kindness, and then just opening the heart wholeheartedly. Just breathing in, wishing, may I be well. Breathing out, may I be happy. And we can give some thought to what it means to be well. So that's not just physically well, that's mentally well, spiritually well. Breathing in, may I be well. And not having to work it out, not working out what you need to do to be well at this stage. That can come after the meditation. At this point, just establishing at a very deep level, the intention to take care of oneself and offering oneself the energy that will empower and nourish that capacity to take care of oneself. So just kind of pouring it on lavishly. May I be well and allowing this warmth in the heart. May I be happy on the out breath. Some people find it helpful to visualize golden light a rich, beautiful gold. And allowing that to arise in the heart center as you breathe in, may I be well. And as you breathe out, may I be happy, you generate that warmth, this pure goodwill, unconditional love, you radiate it outwards to fill the chest area. So you can imagine if you're visualizing light on the in-breath, it becomes bright. Breathing in, may I be well, bright light. Breathing out, may I be happy, and then that, that warm light spreads out, 
fills the whole chest. If you're not a visual type of person, you can just focus on that feeling, a feeling of unconditional love, a feeling of goodwill, breathing in, allowing that feeling to blossom in the heart. like a little flame and then the warmth of that flame on the out breath may I be happy and just filling that heart and chest and upper body area with that wish breathing in may I be well breathing out may I be happy in, may I be well, offering oneself kindness, friendship, friendliness, goodwill. Breathing out, may I be happy. Breathing in, offering an attitude of loving acceptance. However it is, allowing it, accepting it, it's just fine, no judgment. I accept this, I allow this, I love this, just as it is. Breathing in, may I be well, unconditional love. Breathing out, may I be happy, may I take care of myself. going to include some other people in the meditation but not just yet. I want you to really work here. There's no need to be in a hurry. You really fill up, really fill one's own heart with this energy. Understanding that you need a lot, I'm going to go and share it. So making sure that there's a lot of metta there, breathing in, may I be well, may I be truly well, may I be deeply well. Breathing out, may I be happy, may I take care of myself. I'm breathing in, may I be well. May all supports manifest in my life that will help me to take care of myself, physically, mentally, spiritually. I'm breathing out, may I be happy. Enjoying this uh, wholesome mental pleasure the Buddha calls a divine abiding it's like 
generating a heavenly mind state, mind like a deva. Breathing in, may I be well. Breathing out, may I be happy. We can also move the metta throughout the body and now you can move your awareness to your face and your head Breathing in, may I be well, breathing out, may I be happy and just offering this warmth, this attitude of acceptance I allow this to be exactly as it is Loving acceptance and goodwill Whatever judgments Anything that isn't metta, breathing out, letting go on the out breath, dropping it. Breathing in, I accept this. My face, my head, my body, the brain. As it is. Oftentimes there's a lot of emphasis in the culture about looking beautiful, youthful. So if we don't look beautiful, if our youth is fading, we judge it. It's very painful. Metta and practicing Buddhism and just accepting accepting the way things are not judging them so offering your face an attitude of loving kindness allowing it to be as it is breathing in may I be well breathing out may I be happy and the shoulders where we store various tensions Spreading loving kindness throughout that part of the body. Just, you know, whatever it is, it's okay, it's okay. Breathing in, may I be well. Breathing out, may I be happy. Anything related to the past, you don't need to carry it around. Let it go. On the out breath, breathing in, radiating loving kindness throughout the body, especially the shoulders. Breathing out. Anything which isn't metta, putting it down, dropping it, letting it go. And then the chest area. Radiating loving kindness to the body here, allowing it to be just as it is, no judgments, no expectations, offering an attitude of acceptance. Breathing in, may I be well, breathing out, may I be happy. And 
now embracing the back and the arms and the hands this whole upper body and just spreading that warmth generating it on the, on the in-breath at the heart may I be well, may I be happy may I take care of myself and as you breathe out allowing it to spread throughout the whole upper body a relaxed, tender soft warmth if you like to visualize see the gold light filling the entire upper body imagine any darkness disappearing letting it go on the out breath breathing in radiating loving kindness generating loving kindness on the out breath dropping everything that isn't loving kindness letting the judgment dissolve into emptiness you don't have to be thin you don't have to be beautiful as a Buddhist you have to be generous at heart you have to be virtuous understanding that this is what helps you and others most but you don't need to judge the body or force it to be other than it is so offering an attitude of acceptance breathing in may I be well allowing this body to be just as it is breathing out may I be happy and bringing that metta to embrace now the legs as well the feet, the whole body breathing in, generating at the heart may I be well, may I be happy breathing out, radiating it to encompass the whole body accepting the body as it is allowing it to be as it is allowing this energy to flow throughout the whole body and mind the nervous system relaxing letting go of judgments and holding breathing in may I be well breathing out may I be happy
coming back to the heart area, the chest area, breathing in, may I be well, and breathing out, may I be happy. Charging up that energy of the heart. And now bring to mind one person who has been a true friend this life. It could be a parent, it could be a teacher, it could be Kalyanamitta. And as you breathe in, you radiate loving kindness to yourself. And as you breathe out, just aware of that person, you can visualize them in front of you. Breathing out, wishing them well. As you wish them well, you can imagine them smiling. Breathing in, may I be well. And breathing out, may this person, this kind person, may they be well. And breathing in, may I be happy. Breathing out, may this other person, this kind person, be happy. Breathing in, may I take care of myself. Breathing out, may this person, wherever they are now, have everything they need to take care of themselves. And breathing in, may I maintain well-being. Breathing out, may this person maintain well-being. And breathing in, may I grow in Dhamma. And breathing out, may this person grow in Dhamma. Deepening the refuge, developing mindfulness and wisdom, suffering less and less. And breathing in, may I grow in Dhamma, may I be well. Breathing out, may this person also grow in Dhamma, may they be well, may they be happy. Coming back to just oneself, breathing in, may I be well, breathing out, may I be happy. Now bringing to mind another person, this time make it somebody that is just an acquaintance, somebody that you feel somewhat neutral towards, and no particular deep affection and no conflict, just training the mind to be able to offer this attitude to more people. Just the first one that comes to mind, and as you breathe in, wishing loving kindness to yourself, may I be well. And as you breathe out, may this other person be well. And just practice doing that sincerely for a minute or two, breathing in, wishing oneself well. And then everything good that one wishes for oneself, wishing that for this other person also on the out-breath.
Breathing in, may I be well. Breathing out, may this person be well, may they be happy, may they take care of themselves. May they have everything they need. And then returning to the perception of just oneself, breathing in may I be well, breathing out may I be happy. Breathing in, may I be well and happy, generating loving kindness in the heart, bathing one's own body and mind, and then bringing to mind the perception of everyone who joined this retreat, everyone sitting here now, and just being mindful that without all these people the retreat wouldn't have been possible, without lots of people signing up it wouldn't have happened, and just like you there's been joys and sorrows, the good bits, the difficult bits, and then breathing in, may I be well, may I be happy, breathing out, may all of these people, my brothers and sisters, my Kalyanamitta, may they be well, may they be happy, and radiating that warmth to fill the entire room if you can. Breathing in, may I be well. Breathing out, may all of my Dharma brothers and sisters be well. Breathing in, may I be happy. Breathing out, may all of my Dharma brothers and sisters be happy. And breathing in, may I grow in Dhamma. May I grow in mindfulness wisdom, insight. May I learn how to let go of suffering. And breathing out, may all of these people too, may they grow in mindfulness and wisdom and insight, learning to let go of suffering. May they be happy. Breathing in, may I be well. Breathing out, may everyone in this room be well, be happy.
And then just coming back to oneself, breathing in, may I be well, breathing out, may I be happy. And now just taking the breath, the feeling of the breath, as your object. And just experimenting, having a look. Is it easier to be with the breath as it is in the present moment after radiating loving kindness? Many people find that it is. Aware of the breath, allowing the breath to be just as it is, aware. even bringing an attitude of interest and care to the breath, aware of the entire in-breath, but aware of the entire out-breath, do. feeling of the breath, mindful of the feeling of the breath coming in, put, and mindful of the feeling of the breath going out, do.
now continuing to sit mindful of the breath or walking if you prefer as you choose. <coughs> 